everyone. I'm Amal Andraus, Dean of GSAP at Columbia. I'm really excited today to be in conversation with Lola Benalon, who just joined us as part of the full-time faculty uh, in so many different ways. She is really a leading a figure in architectural technology and thinking about buildings for the future. Uh, but she has also many other characters of bringing together art and science, uh, a kind of critical and curatorial perspective um, together with engineering and architecture and questions of preservation and materiality. Um, and Lola is also reshaping our technology sequence uh, in the Master of Architecture program. So lots of different areas of incredible impact. And so I wanted just Lola to engage in a quick conversation with you so that our um, prospective students can hear from you directly uh, in terms of some of your ideas. And my first question is just very simple, is what, what do you believe is the most uh, important um, advances, changes, considerations uh, for what we call technology or building technology um, um, today and for the future. Yeah, thank you, Amal, uh, for the introduction and for this um, really great and important starting question. So the, it's a really big question, but I'll, I'll try to summarize some of my some of my thoughts. And you know, when we think about building technology, we have the basics, right, of structures and systems and how these systems integrate and all the different um, um, architectural science and components that need to go into a particular design in addition to the design party and the concept and the aesthetics, um, kind of the things that hold the structure of the building together that made the build, make the building work, make us thermally comfort and um, make it also approved in terms of building codes, all these maybe more technicalities. And, you know, because we're talking about technicalities, a lot like in engineering, sometimes we we'll lose our way in our technician, you know, mind. So I think the most important thing that I'm trying to emphasize is how do we use these technological instruments not as instruments solely, but also remember the purpose. Uh, remember, you know, global crisis that we're trying to address. Remember the occupants' um, um, perception and comfort and needs. Uh, remember why are we using these technical tools? And for that reason, it's um, um, really about having you know, the basic questions asked, a uh, question about sustainability, about environmental justice and social justice, questions of why are we using uh, building technology? So there's the basics and there's also, you know, the additional questions we need to ask and answer. Um, yeah. I think it's, it's, uh, it's really inspiring uh, to hear you speak because I also register um, your sort of formation, which is very unique. Uh, you have a degree in critical curatorial practices. You've uh, had museum shows. You've, you know, you, it's almost like you approach uh, technology both, well, not just both, in so many different ways as an artist, um, as, a, as an architect, as an engineer, um, but also as a as a woman, as a, a person who brings her own experience to thinking about something as, as abstract. Um, and I wonder whether this kind of hybrid, uh, hybrid, uh, um, hybridity in the way that you have um, sort of um, evolved uh, is also one of the reasons why your um, appending notions of materiality and kind of pushing materials such as, uh, I don't know, bamboo or earth or, you know, rediscovering uh, uh, old technologies um, that in fact should be completely part of the future. So I wanted to tie um, your incredible um, 
uh, sort of formation with how you're coming at these issues and really pushing the boundaries, especially vis-a-vis -vis materials? Yeah. <clears throat> I was the kind of engineer, um, a student that always, you know, sneaked into architecture classes before I did my PhD in architecture. So it was, I was always drawn to, you know, finding the intersection and the connections between disciplines. And really um, early I joined, uh, right, Art Espionage, a group of architects, uh, theater um, um, uh, artists, and we, did these really interesting um, curatorial projects. And what was really following along the path from engineering to curatorship to my PhD and postdoc and now is really um, the hands-on component, the working with the hands and to actualizing my projects. Uh, um, which I think is an additional important component of building technology. How do we actualize our design? How do we connect A to E to CM, architecture engineering, to construction management? Um, how do we use methodologies of design build that are really interesting? And this, again, trickles to you know, community participation and design build with the people. Uh, um, and providing building skills. So it's um, eventually, it's not only about building professionals, it's about expanding the spectrum um, when we talk about design build and when we talk about making. Um, so these are additional perspectives. For instance, we just, um, I just um, talked with Lila about the Terra Collaborative, where we, uh, um, um, in, with the leadership of uh, Lise Jondro and additional women builders. It's an all women um, NGO um, providing hands on natural building skills to women and youth. And we, uh, the aim is really to uh, give the power back to the people to build their structures, to maintain their structures, and then to, to provide that knowledge to the community. Uh, so it, it is preserved within the community. Uh, you, um, you just gave a wonderful lecture uh, at the school, which is online and, and, and uh, everyone can see, but I, I wanted to also uh, to kind of take what you just said about the sense of um, uh, design build and making and empowering communities and wanted to translate that as, you know, how how are you thinking we can empower our students uh, to engage with the technology sequence and these courses through making, through a sense of materiality? And I know you have a lot of ideas about that. So I'm just, I wanted to hear how we bring, uh, because in fact, it's true at um, what I think we're trying to do is also break the barrier within uh, the curriculum where studio is where you make things and technology has this kind of abstraction to it. And so how we make those bridges and, uh, and, and kind of undo, um, not, not undo the abstraction, but always grounded in, 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 in the real in making, which is what we do also as architects is kind of bring these, these things together. Yeah, there are many ways we can introduce actualization and, and actually construction of our uh, buildings and ideas and there are different schools do it differently with different type of you know um, whether it's low-income housing or there are different emphasis but and I know what I I love natural materials so for me really using clay cob straw bale light straw clay um, really materials that come from our um, um, excavated soils or from um, biological byproducts are so easy and healthy to handle that, you know, really empowering communities is, you know, everyone can participate, um, including elders and kids. And it, the learning curve is so like, sure, like within a day, you know how to build a wall. It's that easy and it's fun, <laughs> which is super. So I love 
um, these kind of materials. So this is something that is dear to my heart, which I will try to, you know, introduce more and more. But um, but that is only the tip of the spectrum, and 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 that goes wider to a range of low carbon and right. low extractive building materials and building practices, uh, which are critical given you know our global environmental conditions um, and also our social um, conditions that we need to address. I think that's what's uh, really interesting is that suddenly instead of just comparing you know concrete to steel to glass you know the usual let's say materials of the last um, you know, well, since modernism, really, you're bringing you're bringing back and pushing forward uh, these other materials, and now we are really actually expanding um, our 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 palette in a way and question. Now we can question and evaluate, and I'm very excited about experiments with structural timber. And I mean, there there's a kind of real transformation right now in the materials that are considered. Um, um, the kind of materials of the future um, and kind of connecting the dots and always bringing um, the social aspect as well, I think is really something that I think the sequence is going to do incredibly well. Yeah. Mm. So Lola, thank you so much. I'm just so thrilled that you're with us and I know that uh, you've already transformed um, the program in many ways and the school just by being with us for a very short time. So I have no doubt that we're going to see a kind of acceleration uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and kind of incredible exploration in terms of pushing the boundaries of what we think about when we think about architecture and you know, building technology today. I look forward to it. Thank you. Amal. Thank you.